One thing to think about, uh, depending on what part of the U.S. you're spraying in, right? I, I'm from the Northeast, and we're here filming in California, and there's definitely some different considerations to be made when you're in different temperature climates. One thing to note is that every product sheet or pea sheet is gonna be rated for 70, 72 degrees. So whatever dry time is labeled for that, it's important to know that if the temperature changes, this is what's called a 15 degree rule. So I kind of wrote it out here just to kind of show, um, essentially, if the temperature goes up by 15 degrees, what'll wind up happening is the product will dry at half the rate. So it basically divides in half. So if we go from 70 degrees to 85 degrees, you're gonna notice that product kicks a lot faster. It works in the inverse, right? So if we are in a colder climate and the temperature goes down to 55 degrees, well, what does that do to our dry time? It's gonna double it. So if something's rated for 70 degrees and it's gonna dry in 60 minutes, but you're spraying in 40 degree weather, you've got a really long dry time. So don't be upset if you notice that it's just not kicking in time, it's, it's weather related. And to that point, there's a tool that you can kind of have in the shop, a temperature gun, it's kind of helpful uh, for a variety of different reasons. You can test metal temperature to see what you're spraying on. Uh, particularly in colder or hotter climates where it's more extreme. You know, if a hood's been out in the sun, any top surface has been out in the sun, it's more apt to get um, hot quickly. So although ambient temperature might be one degree, the metal that you're spraying on could be a different temperature. The same remains true when you're in a colder temperature or colder climate, the booth may feel slightly warm, but the metal, if the car's been sitting outside, it's been snowing out, the metal might be 30 degrees. So it's important to think through that. Like, okay, yeah, the booth might be, you know, 60, 70 degrees, but if the car's been sitting outside in a snowstorm, chances are that metal's pretty cold. So either you let the, medical, the metal get to room temperature or um, you can compensate in a variety of ways. You know, the other thing to think through too is the solvents and the products that you're choosing temperature should be a real consideration. So like if we think through, if you were spraying product that has a, a 60, deg, uh, 60 minute dry time in a 70 degree temperature, and that's what the pea sheet shows, but you're spraying that product in a hundred degree weather, you're now dealing with a 15 minute dry time, which may not work with your overall process. So you may wanna choose different additives or solvents to slow down the product to give you enough time to work with it, particularly if it's a larger job and 15 minutes won't cut it. You know, if you were spraying a bus, that, that could be a problem. Um, and the same is true if you're in a colder climate, it makes sense as the seasons change wherever you live, whether it's becoming more humid or dry or hot or cold, think through the product selection that you have. If you have any questions about it at all, you can refer to your job or salesman or your paint manufacturer rep or go to their website and kind of see what they recommend for different climates. But really stay in connection with that and, and really know like, oh, it's hot out. I need to really think through what products I'm using and what I'm selecting.